Hey, our last big Figma project is uh, right before you here. It's going to be about national parks, but uh, I'll explain this as we go. Uh, this one's going to be kind of like a website. You're going to be laying out a website, and it's going to have to have nine different pages. It has a home page, and then it has information about eight different national parks. And I don't know that you'll do everything that I did in mine, uh, but I'll kind of talk you through what is required on this. You don't have to do everything I did. I'm going to go ahead and hit preview here, and let's just kind of work through this. All right, so I, you're going to have to design a home page, and all of the all of the pictures and all the paragraphs and everything that you you need as far as content goes has been provided. It's all on Google Classroom. I'll show you that in a minute. But here's like my home page, my landing page to begin with. All right, so it kind of introduces the whole thing. Says National Parks of the Western United States. I've got pictures on there. Again, I provided pictures for you. So you don't even have to go hunt for them. And I've got an icon on there to kind of decorate it up. And I provided some icons for you too. So you don't even have to go hunt for those. So you're just going to have to construct the pages. You're going to have to construct the buttons. You're going to have to make the navigation work. You're going to have to work on the layout of the thing. But everything that you need for the project has been provided. So let's check it out. Here up, up here, this, uh, ma this navigation bar that I put across the top up here, the buttons have rollovers. That is going to be required on this project. You got to create buttons that have a hover or rollover effect. And I just kind of made mine sort of invert a little bit. They're green buttons that turn white when you roll over them, right? That's the idea. And they're going to have to work. Like if I click on Yellowstone, it should take me to the page about Yellowstone. Now, don't worry, all of the, all the, like this paragraph, you don't have to write anything. All that's been provided. All you're going to have to do is copy and paste. But I do want you to notice something about every, uh, every page for uh, every park. The name of the park is on there, Yellowstone. The paragraph information is on there. And there is at least one picture from the park. Now, again, all the pictures have been provided. All the paragraphs have been provided. All you're going to have to do is kind of put it together. Now, on mine, I decided to go a little extra, and I've got these, uh, like on every page, you're going to see this little three menu, this three image menu down at the bottom. It says hover over the image for a larger view. And so I did this on mine. You don't have to. I wanted to. I did a little extra work because I wanted to do it. But you do have to have the name of the park, you have to have the information about the park, and you have to have at least one image about the park. The navigation is going to have to be on every page. And you'll notice down here on the park pages, I put a little home button down in the corner, in the bottom right-hand corner. And that's an icon that I provided for you. You've got a copy of it on Google Classroom. And so I, I made it so if I click that, I can go back to the home page. So I can navigate through this a couple of different ways. I can click on any park I want to go to, like Grand Canyon or Grand Teton or Bryce Canyon or Yosemite or Arches. And you'll notice all the pages look pretty much, they look very similar. And man, I would do that too. You know, I, I get a layout going and then take advantage of things like copy and paste or alt drag or creating components or whatever makes it work faster for you. Now, again, I, I did tell you that on all, all of mine, I made this little hover image gallery thing, which you do not have to do. That is not required. You can do it if you want to. Uh, it's extra work. Doesn't get you bonus points, really, but uh, you can do it if you want, if you're up for the challenge. So here's the kind of thing, yes, again, I can click through it. I can click through all of those national parks. You're going to have to think about fonts and colors and, you know, what do you want to use. And on, like I said, on all eight national park pages, I've got a home button that would take me back to the home page if I ever want to go back there. So that's a, a look at an example, right? This is what we're shooting for here, a, a home page that looks decent, and then you got eight buttons. I've got eight buttons up here that will take me to any of the parks. All right, so now let's kind of take a look at like uh, th things you might need to know about the project. All right, well, here we go. Required. You're going to have to have nine screens. There'll be one home screen, and then you'll have one screen for each of the national parks that's included in this project, and there are eight of them. All right, so that's a 45-point part of it. Navigation buttons with rollover or hover effects. You have to have rollover or hover effects. I wish that little menu wouldn't pop up. Um, 
Navigation bar with rollover hovers, and that's 25 points there. The navigation must work properly. That's two separate things, kind of. You know, you can have navigation buttons that look great, but they don't work. And so I'm grading that with two separate scores there. If you got your, your rollovers in there, you get credit for that, but they got to work. And that's a 30-point thing, uh, you know, having them all work properly. And then just good organization to the site. Does it look good? Is it laid out well? Um, 20 points there. So this is a big one. It's 120 points. So, yeah. Other notes. There are eight different parks. You'll need a home screen and then one screen for every national park. Use uh, screens out of the desktop set on Figma. All right. This isn't going to be a phone app. This is like a website. So you go to when you're making your main frames, you know, your big frame, your big screen frames. It's going to be the one of the desktop sizes. Uh, make all of them the same size. Your nine pages should all be the same size. For every national park, you have to have a page that has the name of the park. It has the copy that is provided. And what I mean by copy is the paragraphs. I'm going to show you that in a minute. All right, so you have to have the name of the park, and you have to have the paragraphs, and you have to have at least one image. Navigation has to appear on every page. Again, it's like so many other things we've done. You cannot have a page without navigation. Can't do it. That would leave your viewer stranded. Everything you need for this project has been provided. Everything is on Google Classroom. There are multiple images to work with for each park. I think there are four for every park, so use whichever one you want or use more than one if you want. There's an info page that has all of the, the copy, the, the paragraphs, the information, and that is a copy and paste deal, people. You don't have to write anything. That's a copy and paste deal. And there's also some icons that have been provided, and you can use them if you wish, although I will say you don't have to use the icons if you don't want to use them, all right? Share it with me when you're all done, and it's looking good. Now, we've got to take a look at something on Google Classroom as well as we're getting set up for this. So on uh, for it's at least a two-day thing. It's a Monday-Tuesday thing here. And so here's the, the, you know, the help page. You've got the help page, all right? So there's that. That's what I just showed you. Uh, here is the park info. It's a Google Doc. If you click on it, all right, so you see you've got the name. You got the name of the park, and then you have the information right there. And so that's a copy and paste deal when you have to plug in the information. And I showed you over here, you know, like for Glacier National Park, I've got all this information here, this two paragraphs about Glacier National Park. Where did I get that? Well, I got it off of this page. You know, it's right here. Glacier National Park. So it's a copy and paste deal. I tried to make it, I mean, it's there's some work involved in this, but it's just building work. You don't have to write anything. You don't have to really make up anything. You just have to put it together. That's what you got to do. All right, uh, back here to classroom. Let's, I got to get, which tab do I want here? Not that, not that. Oh, come on. There, right there. Now, here's the other thing. Uh, I put a link to a, a drive folder. This should work. I got my fingers crossed. We'll solve it if it doesn't. But right here, there's an images folder. And so when you click on it, it should take you to something like this. It should look like a Google Drive screen that has all of these folders here where you can look. You know, here's like the Ar Arches State Park. And there are four pictures for Arches and Bryce Canyon. And there are four pictures for Bryce Canyon. And so, the, you know, where are you going to get the pictures? Well, I provided them. They're right here. And icons. There's there's four, five icons, right? There's uh, And you can, if you click on them, you can see there's like that cabin thing. And, you know, there's some, like a camping kind of icon. And, and you don't have to use those if you don't want to. If you don't want to use I like this one. That one's kind of cool, the park ranger. Uh, anyway. So there's a link here on Google Classroom that should work, I think it's going to work, to that folder that has all those images that you can then download and put into your Figma design that you're putting together. Okay. It's at least a two-day thing. It could possibly be a three-day thing. It just depends on time, right? Uh, but use your time well. Don't putz around and play around and think, oh, yeah, you know, I'll just get it done sometime. You know, work on it. Put time into it. Put effort into it. That's that's the idea. But yeah, 
Uh, that is our, our last big Figma project. There might be another small Figma thing at the very end, but this is the last big Figma project that we're, we're going to be doing because we're coming down to the end. All right, folks, there you go. That's what's up.